What's up guys? Welcome back to welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're actually gonna be doing a video with the E91 M3, which I'm super stoked about. Actually gonna be doing our first drive as well. So I'm hoping it will make it home. There's a lot that happened in the past couple of days slash weeks. So I need to fill you guys in what exactly has been going on. So first things first, I've been waiting on the F30 parts to all come in so we can start the F30 build. Um, that is number one. The second thing is um, my truck broke down when I was coming back from LA. For those of you guys who follow my Instagram, you should definitely follow me on Instagram because I post everything on there before I actually post to YouTube. And uh, long story short, I went to go pick up one of, well, honestly, one of the best builds I've ever purchased in my life from LA, driving back home, and uh, my truck blew up on me. So I don't really have a truck anymore that can tow my trailer. I actually had to use my AAA tows to get my truck back from wherever the heck it was, 300 miles from home. I was stranded in the middle of nowhere for like, you know, probably a good couple of days. It was pretty crazy. Again, for those of you guys who follow my Instagram, you guys know exactly what went down. It was a super crazy story, but the car that we ended up getting made everything seem okay and acceptable. It's kind of weird to explain because I absolutely love this car and I cannot believe we got it. And uh, long story short, I'm not gonna introduce this car for a little bit longer because getting parts for it is an absolute joke. And when I wanna introduce it, I wanna be able to work on it at the exact same time. So give me some time on that. So not only are we waiting on the mystery car, um, we were waiting for parts for the F30, but we're also waiting for our E91 M3 to come back from the body shop fully put together. Uh, but I have now no AAA tows and no truck to actually tow the car back home. So, so I'm pretty much just left with a moving permit and uh yeah that's pretty much it so yeah we're gonna be driving the e91 m3 and i'm hoping everything's gravy navy guys this is literally the first drive i've ever done i mean yeah i've driven down the block and back but that's not really anything we're gonna be truly testing out if everything actually works together if a check engine light's gonna pop on um if anything weird's gonna be acting up is it gonna drive straight is anything gonna be clanking and clunking we're not gonna know any of that stuff until i actually hit the highway um which we're actually doing in today's video so without further ado let's head down to the body shop pay our dues and pick up our e91 m3 So as you guys saw, the car looks so, so, so good. We have everything pretty much sorted on this car cosmetically from, I mean, not really cosmetically, but like the body's there, the 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 the, the pretty much the drivetrain's there. It's technically a full E91 M3 at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and take it on its real first drive. Unfortunately, it looks like my radiator fan did just go out on me. I don't know if it's my radiator fan or something to do with the wiring. I don't know what it is exactly, but as you guys know, my truck is down. I ran out of AAA tows. So I'm in a situation where it's like, do I risk this engine? But at the same time as long as my cooling system my coolant is good um it should be able to keep the temperature at 50 percent like at the middle mark as long as i'm going at a certain speed like on the freeway it is cold right now it's not too hot i think i want to head out right 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 now because it's probably the best time um so yeah fingers crossed you can make it home fingers crossed there's a lot of wind um and it, we should be able to get this thing cooled enough to where we can actually get this thing home so uh yeah hopefully we don't mess up anything guys but uh i already blew up one engine let's not blow another but again first drive hopefully everything's dialed in on this car god i am really risky it for the biscuit my heart is beating i didn't want my first drive to be like this but it is what it is all righty guys let's get the show on the road we got a check engine light fingers crossed guys everything's gravy in the navy come on please keep the temperatures under 50. guys temperatures climbing i just need to hit the free once we hit the freeway oh my god no dude just no bro okay we're gonna we're gonna try to go anyways Guys, other than the fact that I'm super stressed out with the temperature, so far so good. The temperature is looking pretty good. I'm super happy about that. I mean, thankfully it is a windy day, <laughs> but oh my God, guys, I'm driving a car that I built from the ground up, first drive. Again, not the way I wanted to drive it the first time, but so far so good. Hopefully we don't get pulled over. That'd be uh, pretty ideal. And just like that, guys, home sweet home, the E91 M3 is officially made it. I just cannot honestly believe the fitment on this thing. It is absolutely perfect. Unfortunately, the first drive was not the most pleasant drive, but it made it home and the temperature stayed at 50%, which is absolutely perfect. But guys, check out this rear end. Quarter panels installed, looking super good with that fitment. Obviously, we're gonna need to sand this down one more time. Just, you know, like a high grit sand, um, just to make sure that everything's super smooth um, before we either do wrapping or painting, which we'll get into that in a 
little bit. First thing we gotta sort out is this fan issue. Hopefully we can actually fix this fan because the fans for these cars are going for about $600 and I really wanna dump $600 into this thing. Uh, mainly because of two big events that are coming up pretty soon here. One is actually us getting our first shop, our first business started, um, which is hopefully uh, pretty much starting up pretty soon here. I'm actually meeting up with the lease owner um, in a few days. So uh, exciting news to come on that. And this is that, like an actual lead. This is not just like looking at it and then seeing if everything else works. This one works for the business. I'm just hoping the guy will let us sign the lease and he approves us for everything. And the other thing is the car we actually have right over there behind that gate. That car um, has been a car that I've always wanted um, and uh, it's probably gonna be one of the biggest builds on this channel. That is the reason we actually went to LA. I lost my truck. That truck right there has a blown engine right now because of that car. Uh, but I'm not really too upset about it because that car is gonna be insane. So long story short, for a budget reason, I'm thinking about in the meantime wrapping this car because my priority is slightly shifting. Um, just in the meantime, I don't want to cheap out on a paint job and to do a proper paint job on this is going to take a lot of the funds away from building that car and also starting the business. So I'll keep you guys posted on what exactly I'm going to be doing with that. But in the meantime, I'm going to go to get something to eat because the stress levels have been higher than ever and I am so hungry. My chubby cheeks, I need to stop eating. I need to... And I'm losing hair. Oh no, dude. So we pulled out Carly and we diagnosed the car and thankfully there's only one code for our check engine light and that has to do with the auxiliary fan. So if we actually can figure out why this auxiliary fan is overheating the engine, um, we can not only fix that issue, but we also fix the check engine light, knocking out two birds with one stone, which will also help us do smog because we have a smog appointment coming up over here pretty soon. But anyways, so the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do um, is actually just test our, uh, our fan itself. Basically what I'm trying to do is just test to see if the fan actually works we did leave the fan out when it was raining so maybe maybe the fan is actually bad but we can go ahead and test it right now if it starts if it starts spinning then that fan's good but that means we have some other electrical issue i don't know what would be good if this thing works or it doesn't work but i guess we'll figure it out nothing nothing what was it supposed to do dang what you, okay what were you expecting so <laughs> So what I was expecting was we actually put these two on the, I'm going to just rip this off. I shouldn't just double check. That was negative, right? That's positive. So, so the fact that that didn't work basically leads me to believe that our fan is actually bad, which the good news is we don't have an electrical issue or wiring issue. The bad news is that's a $600 fan. So I guess this thing's out of commission till we figure out that situation. I'm going to go ahead and try to test this same method on a different cheaper fan at a pick a pull or something else just to make sure I'm doing this right. But I'm pretty sure I did it right. Um, uh, and uh, I guess do more research, but pretty sure it's auxiliary fan. Let me know if you guys are selling one. <laughs> Your boy needs it. All right, so actually we have the E60 right here. I'm gonna go ahead and just test it out on this fan. If this fan starts working, that means I did wire it up correctly and our other fan is dead. So moment of truth. Well, that didn't work. All right, guys, so I went ahead and just tested it using this exact same method. I guess it works on some cars and other cars it doesn't because I'm pretty sure I did this exact same method on an E90 and it worked. On this car, it's not working. So that also means that there's a possibility that fan is still good. We have to do other things to figure out what is going on with that car. All right, guys, so Nick just turned on the fan uh, manually through the computer. And as you guys can see, still nothing. It's still not running. So uh, clearly, it's some kind of electrical issue. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the car to make sure it doesn't overheat again on me. All right, so unfortunately, nothing worked. So uh, what we're pretty much down to right now, uh, we found out that there's a relay underneath the passenger seat. I checked the relay, it seems fine, but maybe even the relay's not really getting power because I put the, the ground and positive on there and we're only getting like one volt. The thing's supposed to have 12 volts coming out of it. So maybe there's a relay for that relay and based off what we can find online, um, the battery distribution box located in the back of the car where the battery is, we actually ended up swapping out for a 328 one. Um, I didn't think there's any difference to it and there still might might not be a difference to it, but there's a fuse in there that's actually meant for that fan as well in the front, the radiator fan. So that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and check the part number I have on mine, check the part number online, see if I have the right one. And if I don't have the right one, I'm gonna get the right one. And hopefully, hopefully that's all I need to get my fan working again, because that is a $20 fix and that would be pretty ideal. So hopefully in a little bit in my hand, I'll have the new part that I need. And good morning guys, this is the next morning. I have nothing in my hand because the only thing that was there was fuses. <laughs> Check this out. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy guys. Basically I was doing a lot of research and I was checking the wrong fuses. This thing was missing all three fuses for the fan for some reason. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, I think we're good to go now. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, that is the biggest relief ever. 
That fan is stupid expensive. We got the relay and the distribution box, which I actually replaced the distribution box and I checked the relay and it all seemed good last night. So I was like, this doesn't make any sense what it could possibly be. And sometimes the easiest things, which is just the fuse, fixes the problems. Let me show you guys what fuses I ended up replacing, just in case you guys run into this issue as well. So coming around over here, honestly, the thing I looked at was the fan. There's a fan right over here and it says fuse 88. So I was like, okay, there's only one big fuse for 88, which is gonna be that second one down on this side, the bigger fuse. But then after doing some research, this thermometer logo right over here has three fuses. I was missing all three of these fuses. I went ahead and picked these fuses off my donor car, got them all installed. It was literally missing all three of them. And then bada bing, bada bang, guys, our fan has full power. <laughs> yes, dude. All right, so now that we got the most stressful thing knocked out, guys, uh, we're back here and uh, things are getting really dirty. As you guys know, this is a brand new battery. Um, we pretty much cleaned all this area before. Everything over here is supposed to be brand new as well. Um, and and just yeah it's very dirty right now we're gonna have to definitely do an interior detail here pretty soon but in the meantime i'm gonna go ahead and clean up this area get everything remounted uh because they didn't have to remove everything to get the quarter panels welded up honestly guys they did an amazing job they welded up the quarter panels they used seam sealer i'm just very very happy with the quality of work they put on this car i mean just check that out guys that just looks amazing even with the fitment with the m3 wheels you guys can even tell it's perfect fitment these wheels we actually got off the e90 m3 donor car um and they came off of an m3 spec car so literally it's perfect the fitment's perfect even at the front i don't know if you guys can see the fitment is absolutely perfect so i'm super happy with our setup so far we got kw coilovers on there we have apex wheels we got mission pilot sport 4s's on here as well it just looks super sick now everything is super dirty so we definitely have to give this thing a wash but again like i said earlier in this video um i did purchase a car that is gonna take a lot of the money we are hopefully moving into our first business here pretty soon here i just don't think it's the most like responsible thing to do to paint this car right right now but that doesn't mean i'm not gonna paint it this is my baby this is something that we've been working working on for so 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 long almost a year now this is something we're definitely going to end up painting but in the meantime let's make a v1 version um just like of any color like let me know down below guys what we should wrap this car just to see it in another color because once we actually get it painted orange it's going to stay orange i'm not going to wrap over the orange once we actually get it orange it's going to look beautiful it's going to be its final version the v2 so in the meantime i say let's go ahead and enjoy a v1 version in a completely different color so we can see this thing and take pictures of it in a completely different look so while you guys think of some colors i'm going to go ahead and just start cleaning this thing and start organizing this thing. The trunk is pretty much assembled, but obviously, guys, this whole car needs a full detail. I mean, once we figure out what we're gonna do with the exterior as well, I mean, it's not perfect, but if you guys look at it, we have ourselves an LCI E91 M3 fully converted. Yes, guys, it's officially 100% converted with a lot of mini little goodies. Coming from the interior, we have the MBT Evo in the carbon fiber center trim. Those are two additional add-ons we did to the interior. This also has the CIC iDrive controller, manual gearbox, we did a bunch of new trim pieces in the interior as well. This steering wheel, I put the ugly steering wheel on the car, uh, mainly because we have one coming in from Azza that's gonna look so, so, so good. Um, and yeah, I mean, we have your, your typical E90 M3 interior. We're definitely gonna be upgrading that hopefully in the near future. We have our M3 side mirrors, a whole M3 body kit, officially 100% complete with the new M3 quarter panels, the new M3 rear bumper conversion. Not to mention, we actually added an LCI rear trunk and everything is working to spec. Literally yesterday, guys, I ran the code on this car we were trying to figure out what was going on with that uh that fan exactly and and long story short this car only has four codes one for the tpms which we're going to end up coding out because i really don't even like the tpms feature i want to be able to swap out my rims whenever i want without getting lights on my dash the second one being is the airbag light and hopefully we just fixed that right now it's just one of those connectors or corroded so we had to swap it out with a new connector and the third one was the radiator fan and we did get that one sorted so hopefully hopefully um 
we're only gonna be down to pretty much one code and that's a random bulb code somewhere that we can sort whenever. That's not a big deal guys, but hopefully, hopefully we're gonna clear the lights on the dash. We should have zero lights on the car and this thing is officially a fully completed E91 M3. Yeah, it's not looking beautiful, beautiful, but it's looking pretty beautiful, I'm not gonna lie. So let me know, should we do like a red, a purple, a yellow? Should we do, I don't know, a green, a neon color, something crazy or should we just black it out completely um, and just murder it out? So again, let me know down below what you guys think. But without further ado, that is gonna have to conclude this video. If you guys are excited to see more content in the E91 M3, make sure to smash that like button. Hopefully in the next video, in the meantime, while we wait for the wrap to come in for that car, our order 50% based off of what you guys decide and 50% of what me and my wife decide. So we'll kind of, you know, get a little bit of mixture. So I love it and also you guys love it. We'll try to go with like a color in between. Uh, but again, let me know down below. Um, in the meantime, while we wait for that stuff to come in, we do have a full F30 build, guys, and we have a bunch of stuff sitting right over here, like a bunch of stuff. I'm talking like thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars stuff for the F30, so I really wanna get this build going as well. And for those of you guys who are kinda wondering why I'm actually bringing back an F30 to the channel, it's mainly because, honestly, I wanted to do a build a lot of you guys can relate to. The E91 M3 is not really a build a lot of people have done. I think maybe like a handful, maybe even a dozen people at max have done that build. Um, so it's not really a lot of people can like really relate to that car. The new car I just got, not only a lot of people can relate to that car either. So I really want to get something that's beautiful. It's a beautiful platform. This also has the Sportline package, which looks so, so, so good. And then build it up to something insane that a lot of you guys can relate to. And, and this car is becoming attainable nowadays. Um, so I just feel like, you know, I want to be able to make those videos like I used to, where I make modifications videos. A lot of you guys reference these videos and you know, it's just, it's, it helps me, it helps you guys. Um, and it's just, it's also fun. I'm not gonna lie. Modifying a car from the ground up, um, especially partnering up with one of my partners. It's just honestly one of the funnest things ever. Um, it's just, it just feels like Legos and that's, that's, that's fun. So without further ado guys, I just gonna have to conclude this video. I'm very excited to get this thing 100% dialed in. So I'll keep you guys posted once we actually get the wrap ordered. But without further ado, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.